Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing the manicures that I wore in the month of January. So as a kind of nail New Year's resolution, I decided to incorporate nail art into my monthly wears instead of just wearing polishes. So I do have a couple nail arts to share with you. I will wait until the end for that in case you weren't interested in it. Um, but I was very excited and very happy with how everything turned out this month. So I had three nail arts and four manicures, like uh, just straight colors that I wore in the month of January. January was a pretty busy month as far as like I wanted my nails done for XYZ events. So I did try to wear these as long as possible before um, taking them off. I also am slowly getting back into swatching. So I did have time to keep things on for a little bit longer. In the description box, I will link any polishes that I can if they are available. If they are not available, um, I will just link the maker's sites. And then as far as the nail art goes, I will leave the polishes that I used in the description, um, but otherwise it is gonna be way too much to talk about. So I actually have my computer and then just the polishes. I usually don't like to have the computer, but um, I couldn't do without it. So let's start with the polishes. The first one that I wore was In Our Town of Halloween from Glam Polish. This is kind of a concrete gray base and then it's got an aurora shimmer and a multitude of rainbow flakes. I love this polish, but I feel like I wasn't ready for this polish. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous polish, but um, it just wasn't hitting with me in the time that I wore it. I don't really know what it was because it was beautiful. It had a gorgeous two coat formula um, and it's very pretty on the nails. I just maybe wasn't in this kind of mood. So I didn't love it when I wore it, but I did love the polish. Like I said, I got full opacity in two coats. I did finish it off with a glossy top coat. It does dry dull and some of these flakes can dry with some texture, um, but nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of In Our Town of Halloween and a glossy top coat. The next manicure I wore is Mint Candy Apple from Essie. This is just a very light powdery blue cream. This is kind of more the mood that I was in at the beginning of the month, like a brighter kind of springy summer January-esque mood. And gray, in my opinion, is January-esque, but I was more so wanting the brighter January-esque. So this was more up my alley at that moment. I did end up replacing my Essie brush with my brush, so I had a very easy, smooth two coat application, no problems, used a nice glossy top coat to finish this off. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of mint candy apple and a glossy top coat. And then things started to change and we were getting into my anniversary and, um, and my husband's birthday, so I wanted a little bit darker of colors. So I pulled out OPI's Feel the Chemistry, and this one is one of my favorite OPI's of all time. It's a, which is wild, but it's a like a deeper purple base, and then it's got this like pinky purple to green Aurora Shimmer. Absolutely gorgeous. I did do two coats for full opacity. Um, I do recommend going in for a base coat. I don't know that it would stain, but it is very, very pigmented. Virtually a one coat coverage for me, but I do two regardless, just because it feels wrong to only have one coat of nail polish on for me. So I think this is stunning. It does dry on the dull side. So I recommend that top coat for that reason, but nothing dries textured and removal is easy. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of OPI's Feel the Chemistry and a glossy top coat. And the last polish that I wore, three of the four actual polishes that I wore have these shifty shimmers to them, and um, I'm not mad about that. But the last one that I wore is Nightshade from Starly. This is a brand new release from them, and it is currently sold out, but it does, it is going to be restocked. But Nightshade is this like blackened inky blue base, and then it's got this purple to pink to green to blue magnetic aurora shimmer this whole collection blew me away i love starly's magnets uh, magnetic polishes their planets collection is one of my favorite collections of all times and this love spell collection goes right hand in hand with that i did use my little lightning molt magnet to magnetize this it felt like a little bit of nail art without having to do any kind of nail art so i really appreciated that very opaque polish i did one coat 
and then another coat before magnetizing it and I was very happy with my coverage. I did finish this off with a glossy top coat to protect my manicure and bring some life back to this polish. I had no staining and removal was easy. So in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of nightshade and a glossy top coat. And then moving on to the nail art that I did this month, the first one was a cheetah print nail art. Um, I did a Skittles manicure using a few different Zoya cream shades, and then I did um, <laughs> little gold dots with another Zoya polish and then outlined it with another Zoya polish um, to make like the leopard spots. And then I finished that off with a matte top coat. I wore this one specifically, um, or I did this nail art specifically to go to Magic Kingdom and it did not disappoint. So I was very happy with that manicure and probably one of my favorite like leopard manicures that I've ever done. The next manicure I did for nail art was a negative space manicure. So I have seen these like swirly negative space manicures on a lot of people's pages and I wanted to do my hand at one. But um, again, I was at this point in like the brighter polish mood. So I chose um, a couple orally shades. One is like a bright turquoise cream and then the other was like a darker but still bright aqua blue cream and I was thrilled with this one. I did finish this one off with a glossy top coat. I just kind of, it was my first negative space manicure. Wasn't sure how it would look with a matte top coat, but I was very happy with it as a glossy top coat. And then the last nail art that I did um, was one that I have done before. It's more of like an abstract dry brush manicure. So I took a few Zoya cream polishes and I made two accent nails on my ring finger and my middle finger and used a white base and then just dry brushed a couple different pink polishes and made a couple black dots on it. It's such a quick, easy manicure and whatever color combination you go with, it is going to look good. So this was a like sure fire, I'm not gonna mess this up manicure and I was very pleased with that one as well. But okay guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of my manicures this month. Let me know what you've been wearing for the month of January and let me know what your favorite was from this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.